Hello, Pablo. If you activate your microphone, I'm going to listen to you. Let's taste, uh, let's test, test, not taste. Let's test our sound. Eh, probemos el, el audio, Pablo. Hello, Hi. hello. Ah, okay, great, excellent. Uh, we're going to get started in a couple of minutes, okay? Vamos a iniciar en un par de minutos, ¿de acuerdo? De acuerdo. Okay, thank you for joining. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, students, Fanny and Jonathan. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Uh, I'm really fine. Okay. Did you enjoy your weekend? Did you uh, have fun in your weekend? Did you relax? In the weekend? Uh, no, teacher. Why not? Tuve que, 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 que estar allí en unas cosas, entonces ya no puedo descansar. Okay. But you didn't go to work? No, you didn't. No, 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 no. Eso okay. sí, no. Okay, great. With that is enough. Con eso es suficiente. Yes? Sí. Verdad, okay, sí. great. So, Mira, eh, solo ahí que voy a estar de ahí el día oh, de hoy porque ando, ando afuera y entonces no puedo estar allí. Okay, okay. Ajá. Pero cuando sean los breakout room se une de oyente pero sí, se sí. une por asistencia. Okay, thank you, thank you for coming. Bueno. Okay, good evening class. You are really welcome, Pablo Alberto, Elia y Jonathan, Fanny. Uh, Francisco Ernesto, Alexis. Ah, as a listener, Alexis, oh my God. So chill as a listener. Why too many people as a listener? Oh my God. And Francisco Imedi is joining right now. Okay, class, I, I hope that all of you have had a very nice weekend. And let's wait for Francisco to connect his audio in order to begin our class. Mm -hmm. It is taking some minutes to Francisco, maybe he's, okay. Hello, Francisco. Good 
Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Uh, just a little moment, I'll be okay. You're going to be active. Uh, Mr. Alex Velasquez. So, class, I am so glad that all of you are here on time. I'm going to start sharing my PPT. And remember that last Friday we have uh, that failure. Well, I had that failure in my neighborhood because the electricity exploded outside on the street and there was no way to get back, yeah? So we are going to cover those contents and I think that you have experience on that. And it was Friday and you were happy because you were free one hour. So Miss Diana, welcome. Tulio, welcome. Here we go, class, okay? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, thank you for joining. And here we go, okay? So class, today we're going to have our class number eight. Today is May 15th, 2023. And in our agenda, we have greetings, the first activity that I do and you do with me, an interaction, okay? We're going to have a feedback on what we did in the previous class. Uh, as usual and every day, one of you is going to help me reading the objectives. We're going to work on need to and have to. To express necessities and obligations at work and everywhere. Wherever you go, you need to use need and have to as, um, you know, to express necessities and obligations. To express necessities and obligations is your task, your objective for today. So one volunteer class to help me reading the objectives, the specific objective and the class objective, please. Only one. Okay, I'm going to choose the victim. Let me see. So I can see more people. Ah, Miss Fatima. Welcome. Jocelyn, no, I have how many listeners? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, you're not going to practice today. So I'm going to ask Miss Diana. Diana Barahona, are you available at the moment? Yes. Hello, Miss Diana. Yes, me, sorry. I, I okay. in the way. Ah, you're, you're in your way. Yes. Okay, so uh, thank you for telling me. I'm going to ask uh, then uh, Pablo. Pablo, would you help me reading the objectives? Okay. Okay, Pablo. Hold it because, okay, right now. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, welcome. Okay, okay Pablo. A specific objective. Participant will be able to express necessary and obligation. Class objective. Participant will be able to use help and to a need to. Okay, so you are going to be able to use have to and need to, okay, at the end of the class. And here about homeworks and evaluations class. Tell me, have you been working in section two? Yes. ¿Han estado trabajando en la sección 2? Hay quienes están pendientes todavía con la sección 1. Yo les aconsejo, miren, pasan cuestiones con la energía eléctrica, con el internet. Puede ser que nos falle la computadora, el teléfono. Entonces, vayamos adelantando las actividades en la plataforma lo más eh, que sea posible, ¿verdad? Para que ya al final no tengan problemas ustedes, ¿de acuerdo? Y tranquilo. ¿Por qué? Porque es necesario obtener mínimo, como mínimo, el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso de una forma correcta, ¿verdad? Que les den su diploma. Si no, van a haber sido participantes sin diploma. Y así no es, ¿verdad? Porque recuerden que los diplomas los unimos a nuestro CV, a nuestra hoja de vida. Uh -huh. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. 
todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que este registro es enviado a Insacorp semanalmente. La fecha límite para terminar el examen medio es antes de la medianoche, ¿verdad? El examen final se debe de haber terminado un día antes, ya ustedes lo saben, mínimo un día antes. ¿Cuándo va a ser el examen, Miss? El examen final. Uh -huh. Ya les explico, a eso voy, acabe. Sería de, tendríamos la cuarta semana del 24 al 30 de mayo, estaba programada, pero por el incidente que sucedió el viernes, me parece que lo vamos a mover para el 31 de mayo, ¿sí? Entonces, el día 30 de mayo, ustedes ya deben de haber terminado todo, mínimo, pero si es posible antes, mejor, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Por qué? Porque en la semana 2, en esta que estamos por terminar, deben terminar sus tareas diarias, ¿sí? Cinco tareas diarias, y hay un examencito ahí, ese lo tienen que terminar y tomarlo con tiempo, ¿por qué? porque a veces no comprendemos algún ítem y pedimos ayuda, ¿sí? Entonces eso les puede retrasar un poco. La semana 3 no tenemos examen, recuerden, solamente tenemos las tareas, pero en la semana 4 sí, ya para terminar, tenemos nuestras tareas diarias y también el examen final. El examen final tiene buen porcentaje de, de ponderación de puntos, Así es que a trabajar, ¿ok? Ahora necesito clase que uno de ustedes me ayude, por favor, a leer esta información sobre los requerimientos en español. ¿Quién me va a ayudar? Y que en viaje o así puede ser él o ella. No problem. Mi teacher. Ok, thank you, sir. Please. Requerimientos. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyente, agregar la palabra oyente uh -huh. luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Participación activa. Ok, muchas gracias. Miren, aquí hay alguien que me dice que no le permite ingresar. Entonces, ya, teacher, ¿va a ingresar? Ya. Ah, vaya, sí. Thank you. Sí, porque hasta este momento estaba fijando. Le iba a pedir que enviara imagen porque no sabía si era el internet, ¿verdad? O Zoom que estaba fallando. Pero qué bueno que ya está acá. Sí, Bien, entonces, ok, thank you. Miren, así como nos decía Pablo, nombre completo, ¿verdad? Con su usuario completo porque Insafor monitorea los videos, que es la clase. Y por cuestiones de asistencia también. Bueno, ahora tengo many listeners. Hoy no sé por qué día lunes, ¿quién se payday? Hay muchos listeners. La cámara encendida durante toda la sesión es el ideal. Minimizar el sonido ambiente, como nos leyó Pablo. Y siempre la participación activa, porque por eso están acá. Y tenemos acá las asistencias. Lo ideal es que se queden o que estén el 100%, 120 minutos cada sesión que tenemos, para que sea efectiva pues, su, su asistencia. Y recuerden que eh, se toma en dos ocasiones, ya lo saben. Y deben decir presente para que sea efectiva, para que se escuche en el video que usted está presente, ¿verdad? No que solo está conectado y, y no está. Y al final de la clase siempre uno de, o una de ustedes se quedará conmigo para reforzar, ¿verdad? El aprendizaje, permisos no disponibles porque yo no tengo autorización, ni nadie, ni la administración de dar permisos para ausentarse, Usted si se ausenta, lo escribe en el chat o lo reporta a la administración, ellos toman nota y lo reportan a Insafor, ¿de acuerdo? Y ellos consideran si eh, se toma o no se toma, la excusa, pero no se les dan las horas. Y acá, miren, esta es la gran expectativa, cómo se supone que debemos estar. Todos con micrófono off, unless you are told not to do so, a menos que se les diga que lo activen. Camera on, los dos chats disponibles vía Zoom, vía WhatsApp y el botón de Ask for Help en los Breakout Rooms siempre disponible. Y sobre todo respeto mutuo, ¿verdad? Muy bien. 
y acá las fechas. Bueno, miren, recordemos que anteriormente veíamos los imperatives, ¿verdad? Las oraciones imperativas. ¿Cuál es una característica de todas esas oraciones imperativas o commands? ¿Alguien que se recuerde? Que no que... mencionan al sujeto. Excelente. Very well. That's it. ¿Por qué? Porque el sujeto ya va implícito. Si yo le digo, Sarita, answer the question. Ahí Sarita me dirigí a ella porque tengo que distinguirla entre todos los demás porque estamos en línea. Pero si yo me acerco a alguien en un salón eh, face to face, ¿verdad? Then I say, read the exercise. Lea el ejercicio, ¿sí? Igual que en español, miren. Sit down, close the door, open the door, open the window, go to the board, wash your hands, wash your mouth, brush your teeth, comb your hair, wash your face. Esto nos decían a nosotros nuestros padres y nosotros se lo decimos a nuestros hijos. Yes or no. Keep silence, don't eat, walk the dog, don't talk. Or speak in English. Eat the vegetables, don't eat candies, don't shout, don't park here. Don't smoke, look behind you, mira hacia atrás. Sit up, wear a face mask, use hand sanitizers. Esas son algunas de las oraciones imperativas o commands que hemos estado viendo, pero pueden haber afirmativas y negativas, ¿ya? And then here, we also had this conversation. Do you remember? That you were practicing yes, and, and you were answering this question, ¿ya? Yeah? In the breakout rooms. And right now, I'm going to ask uh, two of you to practice this conversation, okay? But I'm going to share it via okay, here. Because I can magnify it and it is better for you. So, two participants, to read this conversation. Me? I, I okay, this. Miss. Diana, you are Marsha. Who's going to read Luke? Hi. Okay, so Francisco, you read Luke. Count of three, you begin. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. Please send this package. Hola. Hello. Please send this package. Yes, mom. Do you need an ID? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. I want of the moment the strike the stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Great. Thank you so much. Very well done. Two more participants. I know. Don't let me down. Don't make me cry, please. Thank you. Sarita and Pablo this time. Okay. Thank you. Later, you miss. Okay, Sarita Hueso, you are Marcia and Pablo Luke. Okay. Okay. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Rayawai, give me one of those memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Uh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Let's give it up for you. Thank you so much. Now, two more participants. There was a lady. Había una señorita que quería participar. Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, Me, teacher. Miss. Okay, the two ladies. Uh, Fatima, you are Marsha, and the other girl, Jocelyn, you are Luke. Okay, one, two, three. 
please send this package. Yes, Maya. Do you need a nighting else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Drink, anyway. Hide me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new items. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am, ma'am. Remember, ma'am is a short form for madame, okay? Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo, memo from memorandum, okay? A memo about the new date for the general meeting. Write away, write away. Give me, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. So here uh, we were practicing the commands, if you remember, okay? So now I'm going to stop here and I'm going to share with you. Okay, what else did we have over here and here? Yeah. If you remember last class, we were discussing this, uh, these questions as an introduction to the topic, yeah? What are the three things you do every day in your workplace, but as a ritual that you have to do them, either you like it or not? Tres actividades que haces en tu trabajo, te guste o no, hay que hacerlas. Yes? And what is something you never do in your workplace? Y una actividad que nunca jamás haces en tu trabajo. Okay, do you remember this? So, I'm all ears for you. And you have this slide in your WhatsApp, okay? So here we go. And I'm going to share it again. Because probably, that's what it says over here yeah over there so class if i ask you but let me see who are you over here francisco ernesto hello francisco ernesto boquin hello okay if i ask you sir what is something you never do in your workplace? What is it? What uh, is something you never, never in your life do at work? Never have breakfast in the office. Excellent. I never have breakfast in the office. Thank you so much, Francisco. And that is very interesting. I'm going to tell you why. Because in some workplaces, they let you eat uh, when you are, uh, you know, at the office. But in some other places, they don't let you. You are not allowed to eat in the office. You go to the cafeteria or you go to any other place, but exactly in your office or in the place where you work in your working space, uh -uh, they don't let you do that, yeah? I don't know if it is true or false, but I have heard that, yeah? And what are the things you do every day in your workplace? We're going to recall that in the breakout rooms, but by now I'm going to call your names to take your first attendance. Is that okay, class? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Brandon Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, Brandon Alexis. Cecilia Eunice. Present. Thank you, Miss. Daniel Eduardo Bonilla. 
Edward absent. Abby es un más que llega. Diana, Diane. Present, Miss. Thank you. <laughs> Erica, Erica. Present. Thank you, Erica. Fanny. Present. Thank you, Miss Fanny. Fatima. Es Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Fatima. Francisco Antonio Coreas. Present, Miss. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto González. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Jocelyn. Are you here, Jocelyn? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Now, oh, yeah. I'm there. Uh, Jonathan. Ah, thank you, Jonathan. You're here. Jose Francisco Mejia, absent. Josue Isaac is not here yet. Okay. Luis Benjamin is absent. Mayra Isabel is absent. Oscar Daniel Portillo. Present teacher. Exactly in time. Okay, thank you so much. Pablo. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Sarita. Present, Miss. Okay, always here. Tania. <gasps> Miss Mayra, you're here. You were connecting. Okay. Miss Mayra Isabel is here. You have to say, I'm here. You activate the microphone, Mayra. I'm okay. here. Okay, great. Sarita is here. Tania? Tani. No, she's not here. Teresa de Jesus? Teresa is absent at the moment. Let me see. Sochil? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Tulio. Ah, I just in time also. Okay, thank you, class. Okay. So, Tulio, tell me one thing that you never do at work, something that you are not allowed to do at work. Algo que no le está permitido hacer en el trabajo y nunca lo hace. Microphone. Tulio, microphone. Uh, make coffee, teacher. Okay, make coffee. Mayra, what is one thing that you never do at work? Algo que nunca hace en el trabajo, Mayra, Isabel. Hello, Mayra. Are you here? Yes, you are here. Mayra, una actividad que nunca Hello. hace en su trabajo. Una actividad que nunca hace en su trabajo. Eh... Una actividad que nunca hago en mi trabajo, uh -huh. pues sería comer mientras estoy trabajando. Ok, eating. And in some other places, <clears throat> even though you are a sales executive or a salesperson, but you never uh, touch money. Yes. A pesar de que usted puede ser un vendedor o una vendedora o un ejecutivo de ventas, pero usted nunca está en contacto con el dinero. Yes. You, yes. are, you are never in touch with the money. Okay, very well. So class, if it is possible, because now I have 16 students, I would like to take the picture and later we're going to continue discussing in the breakout rooms, okay? Let's activate the cameras, a beautiful smile. And here we go to the count of three, okay? One. Thank you, Eliel. So chill. Ah, that's a nice smile, Diana. Ah, Cecilia, you are here. Okay. Yeah, Cecilia is here. Daniel Eduardo is absent at the moment. So the count of three. <clears throat> nice smile, okay? So chill. One, two, three. Say yes. Bueno, esperemos que nadie haya cerrado los ojos. Suele pasar, ¿sí o no? Mm, nice smiles. 
Okay. Very well. Thank you. Bueno, ahora vamos a irnos a los breakout rooms y vamos a, ya tienen algo de experiencia en esto, ¿verdad? Por la clase anterior. Entonces van a compartir tres actividades que siempre hacen en su trabajo, en su puesto de trabajo, uh, y una que nunca hacen. ¿Ok? Ya les compartí ahí nuevamente el slide para que lo puedan compartir y expresan, ¿sí? Tres actividades que siempre haces y una que nunca haces. Acá vamos. Por ejemplo, a, <coughs> hay a quienes, fíjense bien, no les permiten tener, a comer en su escritorio, pero sí les permiten tomar café o les permiten tomarse una soda, ¿de acuerdo? Aquí vamos. Ok, I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Join your groups. Vámonos a los equipos. Tania. Hello, Tania. I was asking for you, Tania. Estaba preguntando por Tania. La voy a asignar a un equipo, Tania, y le envío la invitación, ¿ok? Sí, teacher, es que se me está desconectando porque me tocó recargar. Se me fue el internet oh, de la casa. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, Tania, le envío el equipo número cuatro, le envié la invitación. Sí. Y Francisco Mejía. Ok. Está por acá Francisco Mejía. Lo vamos a enviar a un equipo también. Le voy a enviar la invitación, Francisco, ¿ok? Francisco Mejía. Y a Fátima. Ay, yes, teacher. Ok. Me sacó la clase. Sí, sí, la voy a enviar al equipo dos también. Ok. Bueno, chicos, únanse. Si no se unen, pierden la, la, la asistencia, ¿verdad? Ok, bye. Y la negativa, I'm, I never use my cell phone. Eso sería. Ok, las mías. I check email. I call potential clients. Esta es la oportunidad. Hello, Porque Miss. Serían tres cosas que hacemos diarias. <risa> ok, Diana, continúe. I, mm, I grab emails. For okay. my clients, and three things that I don't do. Mm. I never, I never use the computer. Computer. Okay, my turn. Uh, what are three things you do every in your workplace? In my case. Uh, take a little soda break and wash the truck and clean tools. And, and what is something you never do in your workplace? In my case is to make reports. And I don't know if Fanny that did not the area. Fanny. Fanny Lu. <laughs> Quizás no está. Fanny. Fanny Ordóñez. Knock, knock. Are you here, Fanny? Fanny, if you are in this virtual world, communicate, give a sign. Fanny, si está en este mundo virtual, de una señal al equipo. Sí, yo, yo, cuando yo me retiré del mundo virtual, yo inmediatamente me reporté. Ok. She's here. She's back. 
Okay. Yes. Your okay. sentences, they say. Okay. Uh, well, um, I'm working in the kitchen. I'm always. Francisco, la tuya. Hola. Francisco Mejía. Hello, Francisco Mejía. Hola. No, he is not in this virtual world. No, parece que no está en este mundo virtual, Francisco Mejía. Pablo, so, ya, las uh -huh. ya las compartimos, faltaría Tania. Tania, are you available? Tania está disponible. Yo ya los estoy terminando, teacher, porque ah, tengo okay. problemas. Me volví a sacar. Ay, sí. Sí, sí. Ok, en Francisco. Frank. Ok, so you have to wait for Tania. Entonces tienen que esperar a Tania, chicos. Ok. Sí, de acuerdo, la esperamos. Ok. Permítanme que... Oscar tiene problemas con el Inter. Finish sharing. Terminaron de compartir. Oh, no, no falta Estamos Tulio, a... Miss. Ah, ok. Sí. Let's wait for him. Okay. Esperemos a Tulio entonces. Ok, Miss. Okay. Bueno, uh, I always take photography. Uh, I always had to get to work early. I always had to check my email. I never make coffee. Ahí está. Creo que ya pasamos todos. Mis. Ok, great. Let's wait. I think in one minute we're going to get back, ok? Ok, Miss. Ok. Ok, porque puedes practicar de nuevo las tuyas, please, para que hagamos otra ronda. Ok. I'm logging. Uh, I always logging every day in my computer. And... I'm... I'm... Um, eating my breakfast and I'm always uh, check my email. Okay. I never prepare coffee. Okay. The last means always, always I check email. I call potential clients. I great report. I never clean cafeteria. Okay, Fatima, vas tú. Okay, las mías son. Ahorita. I always organize my desk. I always have a breakfast at my desk. And I always drink coffee in the morning. 
and I never see my cell phone at work. Very okay. interesting, and Miss uh, Fatima, where do you leave your your cell phone? With your personal belongings, or is there a space where you have to leave the the cell phone? Donde deja el teléfono? Eh, uh, okay. Con sus pertenencias uh, o hay un lugar donde tenga que dejar el teléfono? Porque en algunas compañías eh, dicen aquí va a dejar su teléfono to make sure that you are not going to use it. Uh -huh. Yes, in the locker. Uh -huh. And there is no problem with the, with the missing things in the locker. Because I have heard Miss, that in some places... No. No, if Miss. It, ah, they uh, it, it's very sales. secure. Ah, okay, great. That's good. Yes. Okay. okay. Excellent. Miren, varios de sus compañeros están teniendo problemas con la con la conexión. Sí, Miss, ahorita hace poco tuve un poquito de bajón, me quedé así como uh -huh. que no, no me conectaba a la plataforma, pero no me sacó. La vez pasada sí me sacó. Sí, a saber qué, qué, qué pasa con el Inter, ¿verdad? Bueno, let's return. Regresemos okay. entonces. Ya todas participaron. Thank yes, you, Miss. class, for your participation. Parece que hoy el señor Internet se está portando un poquito mal, ¿verdad? Con muchos de ustedes. Esperemos que mejore. Yes, Miss. Uh -huh. Aquí como que quiere llover, Miss. Ah, probably. That is the, the reason why. Probablemente esa sea la razón, ¿sí? Bien, entonces ya tenemos la discusión de las tres actividades que tenemos que hacer. No guste, ¿no? como obligación, duties, y hay algo que nunca hace usted. Por ejemplo, some of you maybe never make coffee, but you drink coffee, yes. Nunca lo preparan, pero sí se lo toman, en algunos casos, ya. Sí, so así. <risa> Gran indirecta se que tiró ahorita. No, es que es cierto, porque en la mayoría de oficinas nosotros no preparamos el café, pero si nos lo tomamos, porque nos dan permiso que tomemos café, sí. Entonces, Exacto. correcto. Entonces, ahí ven ustedes algo que nunca haces y algo que sí haces. Y con respecto al café. Do you have to drink a cup of coffee or do you need to drink a cup of coffee? ¿Cuál verbo utilizarían? Si tenemos que have to, we use have to when it is necessary to do something whether you like it or not, and need to when there is a benefit for you. Este es el uso de have to y need to. Entonces, in relation to a cup of coffee, do you have to? Need to. Drink, drink a cup of coffee or do you need to drink a cup of coffee? ¿Cuál de do you coffee? need? Ajá, uh -huh. I need a cup of coffee because the benefit for coffee. me. Yes, I'm going to yes. be more productive. There are many people who are not productive unless they have a cup of coffee. Hay muchas personas que Or no, headache. Ajá, que no producen si no se toman una taza de café. Because it is energetic. Sí. 
Y algunas personas dicen que les provoca dolor de cabeza si no lo toman. Why? Sí. I don't know. Y estábamos justo Sí, acá, soy mi, sí, soy mi. Ok, se identifican totalmente. Entonces, vamos a construir. Miren, acá tienen, I have to. I have to be on time. Either you like it or not, you have to be on time at work. Otherwise, there is a consequence. Tenemos que estar a tiempo en el trabajo. No importa el tráfico. Usted se va a levantar a las 2 de la mañana si es necesario, pero tiene que estar a la hora en el trabajo. Yes or no? Sí. Y necesito. I need to go to work because I need money. Yes. Necesito ir a trabajar, aunque no quiera, pero como me voy a beneficiar, entonces necesito. Y también I have to, en este caso podríamos utilizar los dos, porque me guste o no tengo que ir a trabajar. ¿Y por qué me guste o no tengo que ir a trabajar? Porque lo necesito, ir a salir, ¿ya? So, that can be in both. Esa actividad puede estar en las dos, en, en una obligación y una necesidad, ¿sí o no? Yes. Ok. Entonces, les pido yo que construyan oraciones de acuerdo a su realidad. I have to or I need to. You have to keep silence in a library. Tienen que guardar silencio en una biblioteca, le guste o no. ¿Sí o no? Otherwise, they ask you to go out. De otra forma, si usted empieza a hablar, le piden que salga de la biblioteca, ¿sí o no? Because it is a requirement. Es un requisito. ¿En qué lugar le van a decir a usted, you don't have to smoke, don't smoke? ¿En qué lugar le pueden decir que you don't have to smoke? En el restaurante. In a restaurant or? Hospital. In a hospital, yes, okay. or? In a school, yes, en una escuela, you don't have to smoke. And you say, but I need to go to another place. Entonces vaya a otro lugar, yes. So right now, I don't know if you finished last Friday. No sé si terminaron el día, como estaban bien motivados, ¿verdad? Si terminaron de escribir las oraciones con have to and need to. ¿Cuántas oraciones vamos a escribir con have to y cuántas con need to? ¿Cuántas vamos a producir? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 y 20, 20 y 20, o 10 y 10, 5 and 6, me acuerdo yo que dije, 6 uh, and 6, ok, let's leave it with 5, 5 and 5, ok, las van a trabajar de forma individual, y luego las vamos a compartir en equipos, ok, And when you finish, you okay. let me know. Okay. Okay. okay you, ha you have this slide in the in the WhatsApp, or do you want me to share it again? Quieren que se lo comparta de nuevo. Please, teacher. Okay. Permitan. Esta niña madre, el internet no la deja ingresar. Y ese ha sido el problema de en todo el curso. Ok, here. Ok, let's begin building the sentences. Comenzamos a construir las oraciones. And when you finish, you tell me, ok. Cuando hayan terminado, me aviso. So we can share and go over the next step. 
perdón, teacher, que no, 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 no entendí eh, cuántas oraciones por cada uno. Cinco y cinco, de acuerdo cinco, a su cinco. realidad, okay. sí. De acuerdo. Five with have to and five with need to, ¿ok?
almost finished class. Casi terminamos. Hola. Yes, miss. Okay. I finished. Yes, miss. Okay, thank you. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Then we share. Dos minutos más y compartimos. Finish, Miss. Excellent. One more minute for the others, and then we start sharing. Recuerden, si tienen problemas de conexión, siempre hay que reingresar, ¿verdad? Cuando se estabilice nuestra conexión, no hay problema. En now class, finished. Yes, teacher. Okay, it's time for sharing. I'm speaking because you have your information. So finish, miss. Escribir, only speaking, speaking in English. And now, uh, let me see, Teresa is here, let me check. Teresa is here, but Mayra didn't get the connectivity again. Pero Mayra no recuperó la conexión, mm, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. Now, class, you're going to share your sentences, okay? And in the breakout rooms. Yeah, Teresa, no problem. Sí, Teresa, no hay problema. Lo bueno es que logró ingresar. Um, yes, entonces, teacher, thank you. Okay, great to have you here. Fabuloso tenerla por acá. Entonces, ustedes comparten en los equipos sus oraciones con have to e need to las analizan y verifican si en realidad es una obligación y tenemos que usar have to or if you uh, better use need to o si es mejor utilizar need to. Luego van a ver si tienen algunas en común y esas si hay algunas en común son las que vamos a compartir acá en el salón principal. ¿Sí comprendimos? ¿Sí expliqué? Yes, teacher. Ok, let's go to the breakout yes. rooms right now. Ok, here we go. I'm going to send you the invitation. Si alguien ha estado teniendo problemas de conexión, obviamente no va a aparecer en los equipos. Me va a esperar un momentito mientras le asigno, ¿de acuerdo? Here we go. Go to your groups, please. Oscar, go to group number one. Teresa, go to group number, let me see, number four. 
Tania. Sí, I'm going to send you the invitation. ¿O se recuerda con quiénes estaba Tania trabajando? Francisco y Francisco y... Ah, el el group el... number... Uh, Pablo. Ok, sí, group sí, number sí. four. Ok, right now I send you the invitation. Acá le envío la invitación. Ok. Teresa, una hacia el equipo si le es posible, por favor, para que eh, se ponga en auto de lo que estamos haciendo. Al compartir, ok. I need to change the work, the water in the oasis. I have to plan my de my desk. I have to clean my desk. I have to clean my desk. Yes, that's it. Okay. Eh, Miss, eh, consulta, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? E-A-R-L-E-A-R-L-Y. E -A -R -L -E -A -R -L -Y. Early. 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 To be okay. early. Early. Okay. Early. Work early. Okay. Eh, I need to go to work for my economy. My economy. Mm -hmm. my, my economy. economy. My economy. And you say because I was born uh, handsome but not rich. Porque nací guapo pero no rico. <laughs> yeah, as all the people yeah. say. Okay, I see think... you. Bye. Bye. I have to be at HPM in my class the English. I need to learn English. I need to call clients. I need to study the new product. I need to go to the beach. I need uh, some bonuses. Okay, Fatima. Hello, Fatima. Are you available? Are you okay with the connectivity, Fatima? Fatima, estamos bien con la conexión. Creo que mejor con Cecilia, por se ha perdido la conexión, Fatima. Sí, porque no nos escucha. Sí. Ok. okay. Continúo yo entonces. Uh, okay. A lo of water today. I need, uh, I need to a better car. I need to a new laptop. I need to practice more English. And I need some vacation. Okay, so you say, I need to practice uh, English more. I need to practice English more. English more. I need right. to have vacations. I need to buy. Necesitamos el verbo después de tú. I need to buy a new computer. I need to... ¿Cuál fue la anterior que dijo? La de la computadora, Alexis. Uh, I need to... A better car. I need to get. Necesito get. conseguir un mejor carro. Or I need to buy a better car. Necesito comprar yes. un mejor auto. Sí. Pero siempre después de need to or have to. Debe escribir. Eh, debe mencionarse el verbo o acción. ¿Verdad? Está ok. 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 Continue, please. Ok. Uh, I have to start preparing dinner. And I have to go to the dentist again. And I have to do the laundry. And I have to more exercise. And I have to change the tires of my motorcycle. Okay. And now, y ahora, ¿quién va a compartir? Eh, Fanny ya compartió. Sí, ya. Sarita. También. Ya. Yeah. Ok, Eliel Jonathan está como oyente, ¿verdad? Creo que por el momento no puede participar. Entonces ya terminaron de compartir, yes. Y ya tienen, ¿cuál es? El, tienen alguna coincidencia. 
No, ahorita oh. vamos a ver eso. Ah, ok, great. Creo que coincidimos en la de escuchar a alguien que. Si se reporta, ¿no? Ajá, solo no sé una, hay que en común. Ajá, el presente, por. Con Pablo sería. No, perdón, con Francisco. Si con Francisco serían dos en mi caso. I have to share. Y I have to share reports. Y en común de los tres, solo una, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, con, um, con Pablo, Pablo sí. podría ser I need to more money <ríe> <ríe> Bueno, con los tres I, los need, tres I need to earn more money Necesito <ríe> Perdón, Ganar, teacher, ¿cómo sería? I need ¿sabes? to earn more money Se la voy a escribir por acá, mire I more need money? to earn, earn Ganar más dinero Entonces sería les comparto. Okay. Ahora sí ya me ven. Teacher, así está mal, mal escrito. I need to more money. Sí, porque sí. le falta el verbo principal. Tiene después ah. de tú debe ir un verbo. Veamos. I need uh -huh. to. ¿Qué es lo que necesita? Ganar. I need to earn more money. Necesito ganar más dinero. ¿Ya? Or ah, okay. I need To get a better job. Necesito obtener o conseguir un mejor empleo. En este caso, ta, se podría poner I need, pero sería sin el tú. I need a better job. Sería sin el tú. Porque aquí necesito conseguir un mejor empleo. Necesito ganar un mejor salario. O tener mejor salario. O necesito ganar más dinero. ¿Ya? I need to earn more money. Este es el verbo ganar dinero. Sí. Ustedes tal vez han oído el verbo win. Miren, win significa ganar, pero es ganar una competencia, un trofeo. Sí, eso es win. Win o lose, ganar o perder, pero para money, usted dice earn, ganar dinero, ¿ok? Este es el para dinero, miren, es bueno. earn. Y este es para ganar una competencia, un trofeo, ¿sí? Un concurso. Win. The winner is, y el ganador es, la ganadora es. Ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, my Thank pleasure. You, my pleasure. Bueno, creo que no tenemos ninguna en común. Oh, no coincidence. No. Miss. Oh, my God. All of them no. are different. Locutor y contador. Sí. Periodista y contador no tenemos no, nada de. No, but I need to drink coffee. My like coffee, never. You never drink coffee, Francisco. No, Nunca toma mí, café. A mí sí, my like coffee. I like coffee. I like coffee. Ok. Esa creo que es la que tendrían en común. Tendrían, pero no lo sé. <ríe> Él no toma café. Ah, he doesn't drink coffee. Really. Sí, sí, sí toma, pero no es como, ah, que es mi obligación Ajá, y que si no toma me voy a morir. Ajá, no. Yeah, because uh, there are some, that's good, because there are some people who get desperate without coffee, right? Yo, desperate. Oh, really? You, yeah. And how many cups of coffee do you drink in a day, Francisco? How um, many cups of um, coffee? Um, ¿Cuántas tazas de café se toma el día? How many um, cups of coffee? Five. Five. Es contador, teacher. Tiene que oh, tomar de varios. He, he counts. And in order to avoid a headache. Y para evitar dolor de cabeza. Ok, class. Let's get back to the main session room. Ok. So we can share. Ok. Let's return. Let's wait for the other partners to return. Everybody must be back in 30 seconds. Okay, there's one group that is still discussing.
let's start sharing class. If there was a coincidence, maybe there's no coincidence or you have any activity in common. No, you don't have any activity in common or maybe you have one or two or I don't know. So let's listen to the participants in team number four. In team number four, we have Francisco Ernesto, Francisco Mejia, Pablo, and Tania. Do you have any coincidence or no, you don't? Hey, how? Sí, teacher. Uh, con Francisco, I have to serve self. Uh, y I have to send reports. Okay. Y con Pablo sería I need to earn more money. I think that you you share that one with everybody in the world. Sí. Esa la comparte con todo el mundo. Sí. Okay. Sí, so, okay, all the citizens around the world, todos los ciudadanos del mundo. Okay, thank you. Very well. In room Thank number you. three, we have Alexis Velasquez, Eliel Jonathan, Fanny, and Sarita. No, you don't have. Yes, any teacher. No, uh, tiene we... ninguna actividad. Oh, yes. Come on. Yes. Okay. Uh, con Sarita, I need to drink more water. Con Fanny, uh, I need some more vacation. <laughs> Again, everybody needs more vacations, yes, okay? Thank it. you. Oh, but unfortunately, the, father, the Father's Day is on Saturday. I look at, <laughs> at, at Sarita's face when I said that the Father's Day is on Saturday. Yeah, John 17th is a holiday, okay, a day off, but it's going to be Saturday. So sad, Sarita, okay? El Día del Padre en nuestra vacación. Es sábado este, este año. Okay. So here we go. We have in room number three, Alexis, uh, Liel Jonathan, Fanny, and Sarita. You already presented. But now, room number two, we have Ceci, Cecilia Unice, Erika, Fatima, and Sochil. Yes, have, Miss. Okay, go ahead. Um, in one sentence, uh, they have two. And coincidimos con Cecilia las dos. And I had to check my email every day. Okay, very well. Thank you. Uh, what about team number one? Tulio, Antonio, Diana, Frank, Kimedi, and Oscar. Who is presenting? Nosotros no tuvimos well, ninguna actividad. En no común. coincidence. With no, Tulio. bueno. Los, los otros compañeros estaban de oyentes, entonces, y, y, y bueno, Francisco es contador y yo soy periodista, entonces no tenemos nada en común, hacemos actividades diferentes, entonces no encontramos. Really? Quizás por obligación a los dos, I, I need a coffee tal vez, ¿verdad? Pero, <risa> pero no es tanto. A water. No, but do you have to go to meetings, to attend meetings? No, no van a reuniones. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. Both. Eh, lo, lo que pasa es que las que elegimos nosotros no, ah, no coincidían, no. Ah, okay. como de tanta. Ok, uh -huh. thank you so much. Great, excellent. And now let's continue. And I'm going to share the okay, here. We continue class. If you remember, we completed this uh, sentences. And we went through this exercise with... Uh, the commands or imperatives. And you wrote the sentences about what you thought your uh, your classmate's boss or co-workers was going to ask him or her the day after, okay, we were here. And now here we have, look at this. What are three things you do every day in your workplace? And what is something you never do in your workplace? Everything is necessary. Todo en esta vida es necesario. Even to have a stone. Incluso tener una piedra por ahí. Si no, nos caemos. ¿De acuerdo? So, the problem is, what thing is more important in a moment? 
la situación es qué es lo más importante de hacer en determinado momento. Why? Because many times your boss tells you, you have to do this, 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 and everything is to be done right now. ¿Para cuándo, jefe? Para ayer. Or the day before yesterday, para ayer. Right now. ¿Y usted cómo, priori cómo prioriza? ¿Cómo determina usted qué cosa es más importante a realizar? ¿Cuál actividad? Eso es lo que van a hacer en este momento. Van a categorizar estas actividades, ¿ok? Pero primero, vamos acá. Read about Mr. Wilson. Uh, check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Hello, my name is Jan Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resource manager. Resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Todos estamos siempre ocupados, ¿verdad? Entonces, hemos leído esta información acerca del señor Wilson, Mr. Wilson. I need one of you to help me reading. Necesito que uno de ustedes me ayude a leerlo. Only one. Alexis. Ok, Alexis. You read it. One, two, three. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in offices. I am human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employers. Generally attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend conference on July uh, 20, 21st. 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 21st and uh, we have we have to Daddy. attend a meeting out with the companies on June 24th. I'm always busy. Thank you so much. So we have we have to attend a conference on July 21st, 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. July 21st, July 22nd. What are you going to do right now in the breakout rooms class? You are going to take turns reading aloud, okay? There's uh, information about Mr. Wilson's routine. Van a turnarse para leer esta información acerca de la rutina del señor Wilson. Sí, todos la tienen que leer. Practice reading. Y como es reading comprehension, Van a revisar las oraciones que están acá. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? Eh, vamos a escribir si están correctas o incorrectas. His name is John Wilkins. Is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. It's incorrect. Ah, so you write here. Letter I. Because it is incorrect. And what are you going to read he, to write here? His name is John. ¿Cuál es el apellido del señor? Wilson. 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 And full stop. Ya la corregimos, miren. Pero iniciamos con mayúscula. His name is John Wilson. Para las que están correctas, solamente le escribimos la letra C porque está correcta. ¿verdad? Pero sería, fíjense que no sería incorrecta porque le escribimos en español, tendría que ser Ron, la W, incorrecta, Ron. ¿Sí? Ron para las incorrectas, porque Ron es incorrecto. Y para la que está correcta, ¿qué vamos a escribir? Right. La R, porque la R significa right, correcta, ¿sí? ¿Comprendimos la actividad? Yes. Sí, ok, remember, practice reading, ok, because practice makes perfect. 
So right now I ask you class to go to your groups, please. Join your groups. Ah, okay, sorry. Each 24, Sarita, I'm sorry, but I didn't read until I was, uh, you know, assigning your partners. Uh, página 24, Sarita, lo lamento. Sí, sí, aquí la tengo. Ok, let's begin. Comenzamos la lectura, ¿verdad? En voz alta, cada quien tiene que leer. You need to practice reading, ok? Ok. Empiezo yo. Ok. Hello, my name is. De acuerdo. Ahorita vamos a poner este el diálogo. It is page 24, 24. No, Ahorita. anda por la 30 y es la 24. Ay, perdón, me pasé. <laughs> yeah, 24. <laughs> el párrafo el que van a leer. Aquí está. Okay. Ahí está. Todo practicando en voz alta, lectura en voz alta. Okay. Okay, uno por uno o todos al mismo tiempo, teacher. No, one by uno one. Uno. Uh -huh. Ah, vaya, como usted dice, todos practicando el mismo. Todos <risa> practicando, <risa> pero one by one, tomando turnos. <risa> yeah. No, yeah. no van a comprender. Oh, my God. Perfecto. Oscar. Oh. And so deportation employees. Uh, vamos a ver, I attend meeting in the morning and I know often in the afternoon in the company. Uh -huh. uh, entonces en la oración 2 dice, he writes report every day. Uh, is wrong. He uh, check, check email for the company. Uh -huh. Number three, he checks, he checks a year. Okay. Dice aquí, he never answered the phone on and told and told the customer. Y aquí dice, I always answer the phone, o sea que siempre contesta el teléfono, pero el first and um... I think we have a attend the meeting about the conference on Karen que está para la está para la pantallita estamos nosotros voy a mover aquí ahí está conference on July 22nd I am always busy Betty perdón de acuerdo voy yo Hello, my name is Joe Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have uh, events. We had to attend a conference and Julie. 50, 20, 20, 20, uh, 20, 20, no. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20
remember class we say July, July. July, July, mm -hmm. July. Because if you say Julie is the name of a person. Ah, but July. July, July is the month of the year, okay? Uh, July. Thank yes. you. Okay, next. Eh, ya estuvimos los tres. Okay, eh, now, okay. Now, reading, okay, reading comprehension. You read uh, carefully and you correct the wrong ones. Las que están mal, ¿verdad? Las equivocadas, wrong. Y las que están correctas, le escriben una R acá, la para de número. Una R que quiere decir right, correct, ¿ok? Ok. 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 La segunda dice, he write report every day. Sí, reporta todos los días. Dice que... I asked me, company, I always answer the phone, I tell to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. My company, we always have events. We had to attend a conference on July 21st. And the, we have to attend a meeting about the conference in July 22nd. I always lose. Perfecto. Ahí, no sabemos si lo hicimos bien, teacher. Podemos hacerlo porque... Es, es... Y vamos a continuar practicando. Yes, that is the teacher. idea. Teacher. Y ya, ya eh... contestaron. No. Ah, ok. Ahora reading comprehension. Lo leen despacio, lo analizan y verifican si las oraciones están correctas o incorrectas. Si no las escriben de forma correcta, ok. Ya. Eh, ¿Alguien iba a preguntar? Sí, teacher. En la última parte del, del párrafo, la palabra es busy. Busy, busy. Busy, busy. busy. I am uh, always busy. I'm, I'm okay. Busy. Okay. Okay. I perfect. Okay. You. Great. Busy. Busy. Perfect. Y otra vez, ¿quién empieza? Bueno. Okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in the in the office. I am human research manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I'll, I always answer the phone and tell to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a con. Um, Conference, as it is, attend a conference. Conference. Conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always bu busy. No. Busy, ¿cómo se dice? Busy. Busy. Creo que es. Sí, busy. busy. Okay. ok, qué difícil, la tengo que practicar, voy a, mientras la otra lanza la voy a practicar sola. Ok, <ríe> okay Fátima, ayúdame. Ok, hello, my name is John Wilson, I work in an office in a human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company, and I always answer the phone to Potential Emperor. Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Sí, hasta ahí. O sea, no me quedé. Eh, el, nos quedamos en el nunca, el siempre. O sea, el dice ah, que sería, siempre. Y el wise answer el teléfono potential, y habla. Poten, potential uh -huh. emperor. Ajá, uh -huh. siempre. Ahí uh -huh. Cuarta. 
Vale, la cuatro. Cuatro. Dice que él a menudo atiende reuniones en la mañana. He often attend meetings in the morning. Esa es correcta. Sí, verdad, es correcta. Sí, esa es correcta. Ah, ¿verdad? Esa es right. Y la otra es... Lo que sigue dice que, que él no a menudo... Nunca ya. atiende reuniones Nunca en la tarde. En la tarde, correcto. También correcto. Sí, 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 sí. Eso es correcto también, sí. Ok, sí, por lo menos quedamos. Vamos por la, la cinco, bueno, la cinco. cuatro era correcta, ¿verdad? Correcta, sí. sí. ¿La cinco? Correcta. Correcta. Vamos por la seis. La seis. Y Sally has even... sí, sí, sí. Sí. Okay, listen, Miss. Did you answer the questions? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. corrigieron las oraciones y le permitieron a Diana que leyera. Eh, no, yo le pregunté, pero no, no me ha contestado. Ah, okay. Great. So, uh, let's see, class. In your opinion, girls. Number two, is it correct or incorrect? Is it right or wrong? He uh, writes reports every day. The number two is wrong. Okay, the, correct, mm -hmm. the correct is he check email for the company. Pues sí, pero lo hace todos los días o no? Eh, dice aquí que él escribe reportes cada día, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Uh, bueno, no, porque pero dice acá que dice, hay check, él revisa. Revisa, pero no escribe. Correcto. Uh -huh. Entonces, es correcta o incorrecta. Right or wrong. Es wrong. Incorrect. wrong. Sí, porque ustedes tienen que escribir. He checks emails for the company every day. Or every day he checks emails for the company. Pero no dice que los escribe, solo los revisa. Que lo revisa, correcto. Mm -hmm. Number three. He never answers the phone and talk to customers. Right or wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Okay. He often attends meetings in the morning. Right. Right. He never uh, attends meetings in the afternoon. To right. Us. Nunca va a... A reuniones por la, la tarde. Reuniones en la tarde. Um, not so often in the afternoon. Quiere decir que uh -huh. no muy a menudo, pero sí va. Pero sí va. Entonces, esta sería. Sí, uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Sí, algunas veces. He sometimes uh -huh. attends meetings in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And what about number it six? Is wrong. Yeah, it is wrong. No. Number wrong. six, he usually has events in his company, right or wrong? Wrong. Wrong. He, uh, why uh, we always have events? Es siempre. Yes. Okay. He it, has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Right. Right. No. Why? Miren, miren. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. Tenemos que asistir el 21 a una reunión. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. He has to go. Oh, my God. Me equivoqué. <laughs> no, okay, veamos, so veamos, so... veamos, analicemos. No, okay. sí. Nosotros tenemos, permítanme. Nosotros tenemos que asistir a una conferencia. 
Ah, no, entonces está equivocado porque él no va a ir a la conferencia el 21, el 21 ah. va a ir a una reunión el 22. He has entonces, to go to a meeting on July 22nd, not to a conference. Ah. Entonces, esta es la palabra que tenemos que cambiar. Ajá, ajá. Vaya, corríanla. Corríanla y vamos a regresar al main session. Esto sería entonces Ron también, ¿verdad? Yes, because he has okay. to attend a meeting, not a conference. El, el often significa con frecuencia muchas veces. Entonces puede ser que muchas veces atienda la, las reuniones por la mañana. Entonces para mí creo que sí podría ser. The often attend meetings in the morning. The morning. Entonces cuando es verdadero no hay que hacer otra oración. Eh, no, ahí ya con Aquí eso ya es verdadero, ya no es necesaria. Ajá, pasamos a la tarde. siguiente. Pension uh -huh. Emperor. Eh, generally, I attend meeting in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We had to attend a conference and Julie fish tea. And uh, then we had to attend a meeting about the conference and Julie 20 seconds. I am Elwish BC. It's 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. July. July. July 21st. 20 seconds. Okay. Ahora, okay. hazlo tú. Okay, let's wait for the other partners so we can share. And I'm going to take your second attendance, okay? Let me check. All of you are here. The others lost the connectivity. Okay, I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance. Brandon Alexis. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so sorry, but I have, you know, the tough, the tough, uh, Ceci, Cecilia. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Eduardo. Absent. Diana. Ay, Diana los de... No, she's here. Hello, Diana. Diana, Diana. Erika. Yes, Miss. I am here. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Erika. Fanny. Fanny Ordóñez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Fanny. Present. Fatima, here. I'm here, teacher. Great. Francisco Antonio Coreas, here. Present, Miss. Thank you. You were saying no me present, agarraba, present. No me agarraba. No okay. agarraba. Francisco Ernesto González. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Frank. Eh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, where are you? Absent. 
uh, Eliel, Jonathan Eliel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Francisco Mejía. Jose Francisco Mejía. Estuvo por acá un ratito. Josué Isaac. Hoy no se pudo conectar. Luis Absent Mayra. Ya no pudo regresar. Oscar Daniel Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Pablo. I am here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Pablo is here. Sarita. Always here. Present, miss. Thank you. Tania. Present, teacher. Thank you. Teresa. She couldn't make it again. Ya no pudo regresar la conexión. Tochil. I'm here. Thank you, Tochil. Thank, Thank you. you, Tulio. Present teacher. Okay, great. Now, class, let's analyze together your answers because sometimes we can get easily confused. Porque en ocasiones nos podemos confundir un poquito fácilmente. Now, number two, in your opinion, class, is it right or wrong? Mm -hmm. La number two. Correcta o incorrecta? Wrong. It is wrong. Okay. Wrong. Yeah, it is wrong because it should be. He. Check email. He checks emails. Email. Pero no dice que los escribe, ¿verdad? Uy. He. Then we have number three. He never answers the phone and talk to customers. Right or wrong? Wrong. 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 The correct sentence should be he. He always answers the phone. He always answers the phone. The yeah. Phone. Now. Number four, he often attends meetings in the morning, right or wrong? Right. 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 So we leave it like that. No la tocamos. Number five, he never attends meetings in the afternoon. Nunca asiste a reuniones en la tarde. Right. 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 No. right. Yeah. No. It is wrong. Porque miren, never es cero nunca jamás en la vida. Yeah, yes. Y acá dice, in my company we always have events. Pero we veamos. Always. Ah, generally, generalmente I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon y no muy frecuentemente en la tarde. Entonces quiere decir que está wrong. Y escribimos he so often he not yeah. so often or sometimes he uh, not so often he not so often attends in, 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 the, in, the, in the afternoon <laughs> okay and then he usually has events in his company right or wrong wrong usualmente yeah sí, Okay, always. He always has events in his company, okay? And yeah. the last one, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd, right or wrong? Right. Right. It is. Tiene que ir a con una conferencia, no? No. Miren, ¿qué es lo que tiene que hacer? ¿A qué va a asistir? Attend. He has to a attend a meeting. a meeting. A meeting on July 22nd. ¿Por qué? Porque en esa reunión él va a leer el reporte de la conferencia a la que asistió. July 21st. ¿Sí o no? 
porque we have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then, y luego, we have to attend a meeting about the conference acerca de la conferencia on July 22nd. El 22 va a ir a una reunión acerca de cómo estuvo la conferencia, qué aprendieron. ¿Ok? So we had only one sentence that was right. And now it is your turn. Based on the reading in part one, write a similar paragraph about what you do at your job. Acá van a escribir algo similar sobre lo que ustedes hacen en su trabajo. Ejemplo. Ok, hello, my name is... Vamos a tomar un ejemplo acá. My victim is going to be Alexis Velázquez. Ok, and you say, hi, así tal cual como va acá. Or hello, hello, no hi. Hello, my name is Alexis Velázquez. Ok. Y luego, ¿qué nos dice don Alexis Velázquez? Uh, do you work in an office, Alexis? Or no, teacher. ¿Dónde eh, supo ese trabajo? Um, I work uh, in Anda, repainting people. Ah, ok. I work uh, outdoors. Trabajo en el exterior, ¿verdad? Yes. I always, yo siempre... ¿Reparo o preparo? Reparo, repair. Repair, repair. ¿Qué repara? Tuberías. Ah, de water supply pipes. ¿Ok? Y ahí continúan. Unas cuatro oraciones de lo que hacen. Eh, sería, hay always, porque siempre lo hace. Algo que hacen... Eh, usualmente algo que nunca hacen y así, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? ¿Is it clear the instruction? ¿Está clara la instrucción, jóvenes? Yes, teacher. Ok, it is similar to this one. Ok. A four or five activities that you always do, generally do, never do, sometimes do. Que hay actividades que hacen a menudo, no tan frecuentemente, que siempre hacen y algo que nunca hacen, ¿ok? When you are ready, you let me know so we can share, ¿ok? Cuando finalicen, me avisan para que compartamos. Teresa, welcome. Por acá está Teresa. Qué bueno. Sí, eh, ha estado fallándole a varios Teresa de Jesús el, el internet, pero qué bueno que logró ingresar al final. Esperemos ya no le falle, ¿ok? Entonces, Teresa, le explico. Hemos estado trabajando, no sé hasta qué altura lo vio. Este párrafo lo leyeron sus compañeros sobre la rutina de trabajo del señor John Wilson. Ahora ustedes van a escribir un párrafo similar a este con sus actividades propias, ¿sí? You make it personal. Lo hacen personal con las actividades que hacen siempre con una actividad que hace algunas veces, sometimes, something that you never do, y algo que uh, generally 
que generalmente hace, ¿sí? Y luego lo vamos Okay, a compartir. okay. Ok, thank you. Okay. Ok. Estamos trabajando en la página 24. Miss Fanny, knock, knock. Hello, Miss Fanny. Are you here, Fanny? Yes, Fanny teacher. está por aquí. Ah, ok, qué bueno. ¿Está trabajando el párrafo, Fanny? Yes, teacher. Sin problema. No, teacher. Ok. Fanny, la quiero molestar. ¿Cree que se puede quedar este día en la sesión one on one? Okay. Ok, thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, chicos y chicas, hey guys, when you finish, you tell me, ok? Cuando terminen el parrafito, me avisan. Teacher. Tell me, finished. No, no, no. Eh, eh, soy de oyente ahorita, pero eh, para la siguiente clase me gustaría también leer eh, ese párrafo. Si Ok, será posible. sí, claro que sí, como el feedback. Y también se prepara el suyo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Para la próxima clase, uno. Ok, perfecto, excelente. Bueno, gracias. Ok, thank you. Finish teacher. Excellent. Okay, would you like to read your paragraph? Would you like to read yeah. your paragraph? Yeah. Okay, please. Okay. Hello. My name is Alexi Blaukes. I work outdoors. I always prepare the water supply pipes. I usually wash the truck in the morning. And sometimes I tried the pump, the pumping plant and hardly ever uh, work on the weekends. That's it. Thank you, excellent. That is why when we get the pipes broken, and that is an answer on weekends, yes. <laughs> and we are, oh my God. Okay, thank you, Alexis. Uh, another participant who is ready. Otro participante que esté listo para compartir. Hello. No else. Nadie más está listo. Are you ready, Pablo? Okay, the microphone. They make magic. El micrófono, actívelo.
Hello, my name is Pablo Juarez. I work as a policy auditor in this factory. I always submit a report every day and resolve the, the vote of the holders. Great, thank you, very well. Another participant? Who else is ready, one more? One girl, probably. Alguna chica? Okay, Cecilia, please. Thank Hello, you. Hello, my name is Eu. Work outsourcing. I sometimes ha I sometimes have breakfast in the office. I always drink coffee in the morning, and I general generally generally buy supplies for projects. Thank you very well. Who else is ready? ¿Quién más está listo o lista? Un participante I o una participante. Ok, Sarita. Ok. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Sarita Hueso. I work at the Salvadorian English School. I am a baby sister and I'm in the maintenance area. Every day I receive the children in the morning and always like with them. Uh, I take them to the bathroom and do the infirmary. And in the afternoon, when the uh, I clean the classrooms. Excellent. I always clean the classroom. Excellent. Very well. Congratulations. Okay, class. Is there anybody else? Someone else? One more? The last one? ¿Quién más nos quiere compartir su rutina? No, Ariels. Ay, no. Uy. ¿Are you still writing, people? ¿Todavía están escribiendo? ¿Your daily routine? Yes, teacher. Ok. So, listen, class. Because of the time, uh, you are going to continue reading your uh, paragraphs tomorrow, but please bring them ready. Pero por favor, traigan los listos, ¿sí? I need you desperately to continue working in the platform. Necesito desesperadamente que continúen trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que hagan sus tareas y que avance lo más posible. It's, you need to do it. And I need you to do it. Okay, and <clears throat> Fanny is going to stay with me for a while unless Miss Fatima, are you ready with your paragraph? Fatima está lista con el párrafo. No, yet. teacher. Okay, tomorrow, no problem. Okay, so, only Miss Fanny is going to stay with me. The others, thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you tomorrow. Remember the homework, you're going to read it. And... Have a good night, okay? Sweet dreams. Have good, good night. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Sleep well. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye, Tania. Bye-bye, Teresa. Tania, bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay, Miss Fanny. Here we go. Bye, Tania. Hey. Ok, ok, Fanny. Eh, <clears throat> léame cómo lleva el parra. Vamos a ver si le ayudamos. Sí, ya lo terminé. Oh, sí. Okay. Permítame. Okay. Mi amiga, tú le gusta estar en mi cuaderno. <laughs> Ay. <laughs> ok. Uh, Hello, my name is Melanie. I work at the restaurant. 
I never, I work for 24 hours. I never take my food at time. I always attend, I always, uh, I usually attend the customers, but I always cooking for them. And we take our food when we have a time. And maybe I drink a coffee or juice. Ok, solo vamos a aclarar una, una palabrita ahí, pan. Ya le comparto aquí la pasta ahí. Usualmente confundimos estas dos palabras. Attend en inglés significa asistir a un lugar. Por ejemplo, attend a conference. Asistir okay. a una conferencia. Attend a meeting. Asistir a una reunión. Pero en su caso, I usually assist customers. As customers. Usualmente acá es atiendo a los clientes, ¿sí? Sí. Entonces, assist es ayudar, auxiliar, ¿sí? Y attend es asistir a un lugar, ¿ok? Por eso viene la palabra uh, assistant, que es quien ayuda en las oficinas, ¿sí? Assist, ¿ok? The assistant of the doctor, the teacher assistant, quien le ayuda al profesor. Entonces, no se le olvide eso y es assist customers, ¿ok? Ayudarle Así. o ajá, atender a los clientes. En todo lugar, I assist a students. ¿Verdad? Yo le ayudo a mis estudiantes. Okay. And now uh, we're going to practice a little bit reading, pronunciation. Okay, so I would like to miss to help me reading this paragraph. Okay. Me gustaría que okay. me diera ese parrafito. Okay. Okay. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I, I work in office. I'm a human resource human. manager. Human resources human. manager. Human resource manager. Uh, every day I check email for the company. I always answer the prompt and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 20 seconds. I'm always busy. Excellent. Very well. Congrats. And now we're going to practice this conversation. <clears throat> I am uh, Luke and you are Marsha. Okay? Uy. Okay. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Okay, miss. Begin. You are Marsha and I am Luke. Okay. Usted lee um, Marcia y yo a Luke. Okay, please send this page. Package. Pa pa package. Yes, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new enders. Absolutely. Now we switch. I read Marcia and you read Luke. Please okay. send this package. Yes, ma'am. Did you need anything else? Actually, yes. 
please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Ah, uh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. There we go. Now here, remember <clears throat> the adverse of frequency, right? La frecuencia de los adverbios. Desde el 100% al 0%. Okay. And here we have the other conversation between John and Anne. I am John and you are Anne. Uh, okay. How often do you check your email? Every every two hours and you? Uh, well, I try to check it as soon as I can. And how often do you call clients? I often call them then once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order to check the order their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, now you read John and I read Anne. You begin. Okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try mm. to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, mm. I call course them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have a contact with them at the time. You're right. Then here. Okay, Ben, Jeff, and Mario. <clears throat> I'm going to read Ben and Mario, and you are Jeff, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you day pay for eight extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Now you read Ben and Mario and I am Jeff. One, two, three. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well... Sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. And that's it. And now, the last one. This is kind of short. Between Ruth and Josh. You are Ruth and I am Josh. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Rush. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus bonus do you have do you have per year? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for 
More than 1600. 600. 600. Dollars, okay, let's switch. Okay. <laughs> hey Joyce, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two. But each bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Lucky people, right? Lucky Josh. Dichoso Josh. Yeah, yeah because imagine uh it makes one thousand and two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you are Sonia and I am Nas. One, two, three. Begin. What does Dominique do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Make something. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Now I begin. What does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she takes reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Okay, very well. Congratulations, you did it perfectly. And uh, uh, have you been working in the platform? ¿Ha estado trabajando en la plataforma? Yes, sí. sir. I finished. Oh. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. Miss, thank you so very much for giving me this time. Have a good night, sleep well, and see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good thank night. Thank you, Bye-bye. Thanks to you. Bye. Good night. Bye.